So, for those people saying, I should react differently. Learn to react differently. Don't think I have learned to react differently. Jesus, I was out with my wife and kids the other day. We'd been out for food. And I had some man calling me a scumbag, shouting at me, abusing me. In any other sense, any father, any husband, out with their family, comes under verbal abuse in their face. I did react differently. I didn't beat him up. I didn't physically assault him. I walked away with my family. It's hard. So, multiple times yesterday, just before this happened, I had some black fella who was an Arsenal fan um, calling me a cunt. Called me a cunt. I didn't hear him because he was. I said, "Why?" I actually spoke to him. He said, "Well, what are you doing in England away?" I said, "Fuck off, mate." I mean, I'm just going to football with my wife. That's who I'm here with. It's not big and it's not hard. There's three or four of you. Do one. All right? I had some Asian fella, two Asian fellas, in, in the pub before when I was with my wife, who, again, said, you must really fucking hate seeing me. I said, what are you on about, mate? He said, brown and in an England top. I looked on his wrist, see the Sikh bangle. I said, what are you talking about? You're Sikh. What are you going on about? Again, the perception, oh, I just hate everybody that's portrayed and fed out. And then the real reality that I face of being physically attacked and assaulted everywhere I go. Five times that must have happened yesterday, in one day when I'm with my wife. Five times, separate times I've had to say to her, Jane, walk over there, walk away. And this time, with the fella who you've seen the video of, people say, I, had, I just had the thing with a black fella calling me a cunt, which was just before that. So they're behind me, three of them, who I've been having a bit of a disagreement with. I'm walking this way, I'm on my own. None of those people there were me. That man has come at me twice, got in my face, said, you've uh, given it about politics. I've not gone up to him. I've not said a word to him. I'm simply trying to go to football with my wife. And for, unfortunately, because of the hysteria that's been built around me by the media and that's been whipped up, that I'm, I'm, it's okay to assault me, physically assault me. People feel that's okay. So that man there thought it was, a, it was an okay reaction to get in my face verbally in front of my wife. And that that's okay. That's fair game to Tommy Robinson. That's fair game. Just like milkshakes are fair game to Tommy Robinson. F criminal damage against him, fair game. Assault is fair game. Everything's fair game. So twice he's come up to me already. I've told him, mate, get, the, get out of my face. And I've told his mates, I said, you come back again because I know he's going to come back. I knew when I'm walking there, you can see me looking behind people, looking, looking, because I know he's there. And I know he's coming back up to me. And I know probably the outcome of this is he might bang me. I'm not, I'm fed up with being a punch bag for people. I've warned him twice. I've asked his mates, because his mates weren't being abusive. It was him. Yeah? They got abusive in the end, all of them. Which, so I've asked his mates, keep him out of my space. He comes within the distance of me again. Yeah? He comes to me again, where I'm not going to let him be in a position to attack me. Because he was. that's what's going to happen. I knew that's what's going to happen. I've had to tell my wife to walk away already. And then on the video, people say he got hit from behind. He didn't get hit from behind. He got hit from clean on. He got clean on because he come and stood straight in my face again like he's done twice already. And I'm not going to apologise for acting in defence of myself when maybe people would only be happy if that video showed me standing there, him standing, turning around and sticking the head on me. Maybe then people would be happy. Maybe. But I'm sorry. If you're a man and you go up to people abusing them and getting confrontational and threatening violence when they're with their wife, I don't know what you expect. I don't know what you expect. And in fact, twice in the football stadium, I've put one video in here already. Three lads giving me abuse behind. It kept constantly. When I went up to him, what's the problem? Again, he actually went that bad. He shook my hand in the end. Same as a bloke in front of me, he'd done the same. Shook my hand in the end. But after, after I had to lay it out to them, I'm with my wife. There's four, three or four of you. You absolute mug. Do you realise what a clown that makes you? You don't have to agree with my politics. I don't care. Right? I'm used to confrontations. I'm used to people getting abusive. I'm used to that. I deal with it every day. People say, you have to deal with it. How many times a day do you think I deal with it? How many times a day do you see me punching people? I told him twice. I warned all of them. The next time you come near me, I'm not going to wait. Next time you come near me, it'll be the last time. Other than that, Jenna, darling, did you enjoy our day out? Did you enjoy our day out? I'm just trying to go out for a day out with my wife. That's it. You know what I mean?
I said to her afterwards, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be fighting as if I want to be fighting. He was pissed. I'd had, I'd had two drinks. Smell of ice. I mean, and then even up, out, out, what time did we leave the game? 40 minutes early. 40 minutes early. For what reason? People giving grief. People giving us grief. And I knew where it was going. People giving us grief. People thinking it's acceptable to shout shit at your throat.